everyone welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial we are going to make ankara as cold fancinator so i'll be using this ankara fabric which is a busted gum we'll be using this as our embellishments for the fascinator and this is elastic headband scissors and this is cardboard paper this is where we'll draw our pattern from so you get any round shape object. You're going to draw out two circles on this cardboard paper. So I'm using this my circle. This is one circle. I will draw the next circle. Now trace this out. I am done cutting out the two circles. So now I will fold because I want to get the midpoint. So I'm done marking the midpoint. So before we pull this out, we will first cut our ankara fabric. So I will place this on my ankara fabric. And when I'm cutting out, I'll cut it out with like one, one inches excess. I'm going to use this to cut out the other circle. So I'm done cutting out the two circles. So now we'll go back to our cardboard paper. So from here now, from this point now, this center point, I'm going to mark half inch this way. I just cross the half inch over the center. So what I have, this is half inch here. I'm going to draw something like a rectangle like this. I'll put this out and I'll do the same thing for the other circle. Place out a half inch from the circle, and what we are going to do next is to be applying the gum. I'm using a boosted gum, so I'm call it shoemaker gum. So when you are done applying the gum, you wait a little for the gum to dry, then you pick your Ankara fabric and wrap it. Like that, then use your hand to smoothen it. Okay, put this part open. We will also apply gum here and we'll start folding. Then before they can notch the circle. Okay. 
After applying your gum, you wait for it a while to dry and you start folding in your fabric. Also do the same thing for this other circle. So guys, this is two circles wrapped. And the next thing to do is to lap it so that it will give us that cone shape this way. So what you do is to use a tape and measure measure one inch. Use your tape to mark it one inch. We are going to lap this other one on that one inch this way. So I'll apply a little bit of gum and wait for it to dry. So when your gum is dry a little, you lap this other side on your one inch. So I'll do the same for this other one. So I've applied my gum here and it's almost dry. So instead of forming gumming the way I gum this this way, you're going to gum this this way. So this is this is this. this is going to be this way. So the next thing to do, we are going to embellish this. So I'm using this crinoline. It's about one yard with some inches missing. So this is 32 inches remaining. One, two, three, four. Four inches for it to be one yard. So what you do, you take note of this rough edge. Just fold out and do this way. This way. And I'll use needle and tree to tie the needle. I'm using needle and tree to hold it in place. rough parts now be this way so this place where I joined that is where you fix this so, so guys with the help of my needle and, and thread I'm going to stick this this way now use needle and thread to tack it down When you are done sewing, you tie your thread and put it off. I am done tacking this to the fascinator. 
so for further embellishment i'll be using this rose flower this way so you can cover our thread you can use um needle and thread to tack it down if you want you can use hot glue and you can use uhu any one that you want you can use it i'm using candle glue for my So when it's dry, this is how it should look like. Our fascinator is taking shape. So we'll come over to this one. This is where our headband will stay. So I'm using this elastic headband. You can use the plastic headband. I'm going to show you later in this video. So you put this here. And with the help of your needle and thread, you sew it. So when you are done stitching, you can tie your thread. Can use small piece of anchor fabric to cover this piece up, or you can leave it like that. So I just cut out piece of anchor fabric, and I'll add gum, and I'll wait for it to while to dry. Wait for it to dry while I gum it. So you can see how neat it is. So this is the elastic headband. There's a bigger one. It's a, if you don't want to sew your elastic headband, you can use this plastic headband. What you just need to do is to use your hot glue to glue this to your fascinator and that's all you need. So the next thing to do is to gum this to this. So I'll apply gum here and also apply gum here. So guys, I've applied gum and it's a bit dry. I also applied gum here. So we'll be joining this side where I cut with this side where I cut. That's how you gum the both fascinator together. So you gum it this way. guys we are done with our fascinator and this is the finish work of our Ankara Asport fascinator you can see how beautiful it looks thank you for watching